big celebration. And including right here in Portland, not just, uh, of course, in Asia. Back here with Rosalind Hui, we're at the Wasabi Dragon Boat Team headquarters. We're learning about the traditions of Chinese New Year. So I'm giving these kids these uh, red envelopes right here. Rosalind, what, what are these? Oh, there's uh, money inside. And there's then, money uh, inside? Yeah. Okay. So the kids uh, love it so much. So it's a great and, uh, occasion to bribe your children. Chinese New Year, we have to give out this red packet, and this are uh, lucky money. All right. I I'll just keep yeah. a couple of these for myself. Happy New Year to me. <laughs> uh, and another tradition is the lion dance. We have Wushu Extreme, and they're going to give us a little demonstration of that. Let's go, Jayo! As they say in China. Yeah. Of course, as always, you can look more at KTV.com. Okay, we got a line on the loose here. It's out in Poland. Yeah, they are so happy, waiting for the Year of Dragon. So, Kim, we're going to have a lot more as we celebrate the Year of the Dragon. More to come. Come hit that toy. Good morning, Pete. I'm joined right now by Philip Dang. He's with the Summit Wushu Academy. Good morning to you, Philip. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Great, and we've got his brother and sister out here as well. We are celebrating the Year of the Dragon. Uh, now, on February 11th, there's gonna be a big New Year cultural fair at the convention center. Uh, New Year's Day is today, but you guys are gonna be doing a little demo, and you were telling me you just opened a new Wushu studio, I guess, right? Tell yeah. us about that. Um, Wushu is a Chinese term for martial arts. Mm -hmm. It's seen in movies like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Matrix, Kung Fu Panda, and uh, it's a contemporary art. Um, me and my brother have been competing on the U.S. team, doing it oh my for gosh. about, uh, we've been doing it for 20 years, <laughs> almost. <laughs> All right, so, that's an expensive um, camera. Be careful where you kick, okay? Yeah, so what my sister's performing here is uh, Chang Chen, Long Fist. Okay. And uh, it's just the main, kind of the main form in Wushu. So you're teaching this at your new school, and you were telling me you compete, and when you compete in these Wushu competitions, it's not so much where you're fighting people, it's more kind of the um, aesthetic quality of it, kind of like gymnastics almost, but yeah. with martial arts? Exactly, with Wushu, you can, there's a lot of things like Tai Chi, you can learn how to fight, you can learn how to do routines and weapons. We teach a lot of the uh, aesthetic uh, part of it, more of the for athletic and keeping good health and, uh, you know, okay. just keeping people in shape. And if Philip's chomping to get at the bit, I'm going to take his microphone off because he's going to be flying around here a little bit. Yeah. Here he goes. All right, he's getting a sword. A sword. A, this is called a straight sword, all right? Be careful where you point that thing there. Philip, kids, this is a professional. Do not attempt at home. Oh, jeez, okay. Now, as we said, they are opening their new uh, school in February, beginning of February, February 11th at the Oregon Convention Center. That is the Chinese New Year Cultural Fair. Uh, you can, of course, learn more at kptv.com. Phil, what does she have right now? What is your sister got there? This is, uh, this is the Umai Daggers. Um, back in the day, they used this for more assassination attempts. Lovely. Um, people would dive in the water, come up. Would. And uh, these needles would be, be used for assassination. We don't use any of these or apply this on like people. We I just, hope not. <laughs> no, we don't. All we right. just use this as like a cultural kind of thing and, and uh, the routines that we teach. Well, it's uh, incredible stuff. Again, you can win more at kptv.com. Thank you so much, Philip. I appreciate it. Have a happy year of the dragon. And we're going to have a lot more as we celebrate Chinese New Year a little bit later in the show. Right now, it's Jovi. Be careful where you point that thing. You're watching Good Day Oregon. Yeah, first you guys need to learn. Local.